Hey everybody, Jill from Two Dogs Media. Excited to share with you some news that AREFs put out this week about having a free webmaster tool uh, right through their um, software. So what I'm going to do today is just kind of go through what this free tool offers you and just give you an overview so you can see what to expect. So AREFs, if you're not familiar with it, is an SEO software that allows you to pull so much data. Um, it allows you to see your, your competitors, your competitor backlinks, your competitor top content pages, your competitors keywords for keyword ideas. I mean, I can go on for hours. It's just an amazing tool. I've had a subscription for years, but it's always been kind of expensive for um, people to pay for it if you only have one website or you're a small business. So they tried to do something. They came up with this. It is definitely not meant to be a replacement to you know any subscription level that they have, but it is a really great opportunity for you to improve your website. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use it in a minute. But this is the page. Um, there's a link in the description of this video and also on the blog post. This video is too. If you could use that link, that would be great. And it, this just gives you a quick synopsis of what it is. You scroll down to the bottom. And I'll say, start using AREF's webmaster tool now. The thing about this is you have to be the owner of the website, which means you either have to have uh, Google Search Console connected um, so that you can easily log into your Google Search Console account and activate it from there, or you need to be able to access the FTP or the DNS um, to be able to add code for those. So it just has to be a site that you own or that you're able to access to show that you have ownership of it. Um, that's the only way you're going to see what the uh, information that they can pull for you. So um, you can sign up Google, Facebook, or email. You click sign up for free. It'll take you to a page. I already did all that. So um, this is, you'll come in, you'll add a new project. I already put one in here because I wanted to have it run so um, you guys can see what it does. But when you add a new project for the first time, this is what you'll get. Okay, You can either choose Google Search Console, which is the easier way. Um, when you click on Import, it'll just ask you to log into your account. It'll pull the site, and it'll pull it right in for you. Or you can add it manually, and it'll ask you um, to either upload a, a file or add code to your DNS or all these different options. So once you have verified the site, then you can run a site audit. So you're going to go ahead, a little slow there, um, you would go over to site audit and you can add new project and it'll get it started for you. So this is the one cool thing I really like about it. Again, everything you're seeing right now is on my free account. So everything you see here is exactly what you'll see um, if you do sign up for these webmaster tools. So this was an audit I ran today. Okay, click down here. Okay, so this is my audit. So you can see I have 21 errors, some warnings, some notices, um, nothing major going on. I have a 400 error, a 500 error. But you can go through all these different areas on the side. So this is just a great way to get a, a pretty base level technical audit done um, so that you can fix some issues. And this is fantastic if you're somebody who has never really audited your site before. This is a fantastic way to see the, any issues that you may have for free. Okay, so here I've got, you know, my title tag is too long. If I open it up, it'll give me a little bit of details, how to fix it. I can see what URLs are affected. Okay, so WordPress Gutenberg's tips and tricks, I can see it's kind of running off there. Um, so I might want to change these. They're not super long, but they're long enough. They're 70, 80 characters. I want to get them down under 60. So I might take a look at all of these. Um, you've got Structure Explorer, which will just give you an idea of your page structure. Uh, make sure you don't have too many, you know, your click depth isn't too long, um, things are being indexed properly. And again, I may do another video on this to go more into detail, but I just want you to see everything that you get to enjoy um, from this free tool that they gave. Um, and they're doing this because they just want to give back a little bit. So um, this is just their way of you know, doing something nice. There's nothing in it for them. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I, I kind of talked about it. Um, images, you can see my images. I have two broken ones. Okay, it'll tell you uh, image size. You can see most of mine are under 100 kilo. Actually, all of mine are under 100 kilobytes. I have a couple PNGs. I probably want to get rid of those. My load time. Okay, top image alt text. Okay, so you can see all these different things. Duplicate content. Do I have any issues there? 
it'll tell me that. And not really, I have a couple of H1s, but nothing important there. Um, let's do links. I have four broken internal links. I definitely am going to want to fix those. Okay, page has no follow. So it gives you everything you need to know. The one thing I like, I just actually saw this today for the first time. This is kind of cool, um, where it's giving you link opportunities. So it's kind of giving me a, an idea of what I can do. Apparently, I have this text here, nonprofit web design, and it's telling me on, I have it on this page. I have this text and then maybe I want to make it a link to go to this page. So it's recommending link opportunities for me, which is really kind of cool. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, link Explorer, so you can see the different links that you have, internal, external. So again, guys, there's just so much in here and I can go on for hours. Um, but I just want you to see some other things. So Rank Tracker, Content Explorer, all of these you don't have access to. Okay, so you can't really do anything in here. Um, but if you go to the dashboard again, okay, so that's my health score. That's how healthy I am. You can see your domain rating, referring domains. If I click on this, I can actually see all of my referring domains now. Okay, so you have all this great information. Um, so you can see how well you're doing with your backlink building. Okay, you can see which ones you've lost. Okay, so I might want to see, you know, why did I lose this? You can change the dates, how many did I lose in the last 30 days. Sometimes these are not correct, okay? So you might see, okay, I have this backlink from techsoup.org. It's telling me it's done. Um, but if I go here, this looks like it might have been a blog comment, so it might actually be... Nope, the link is still there. Oh, wait. Yep, the link is still there. So sometimes it does give a false negative or a false positive, which is why it's important to double check these and see you know, if it's right or if it's not right. Um, so you can see your referring domains, you can see your new ones. So anybody new that's linked to me recently, I can check my anchor text, make sure it's you know balanced. Obviously I have a lot of brand anchor text. I might wanna start working on some other anchor texts to improve some of my um, organic reach. I can see my broken backlinks. This is really important, guys. Um, this is one of the first things that you should do when you're <laughs> checking out your backlinks because broken backlinks are really bad. And usually it's because you didn't change or do a 301 redirect or you changed your URL or you got rid of a post. Um, so I would definitely, if you have broken backlinks from high, um, high domain authority sites, you want to address that ASAP. So you have all of this information, okay? Pages, I can see best by links, okay? So my homepage is my most linked page. My meta descriptions blog post is my second most linked to article. Okay, and you can see I have 63 people linking to it. So this is all really useful information. If you have a full account, then you can see all this information for your competitors as well. That's the difference. So for now, you're only seeing your own data. You're not seeing everything else. Okay. And the last thing is the organic keywords. This is really important. Why? Because you want to work on the keywords that you're ranking for that just aren't in those top spots. That is my first thing I always recommend to people when I'm doing an audit or working on SEO. So they call them low hanging fruits. So what you might want to do here is look for keywords that are in position five to position 10, because that means you're on the bottom of page one. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is sort this by position. Okay. And now I can just look through this and see where I have some easy wins. Okay. Top nonprofit websites. I might want to work on this a little bit more. Just try to bump this up to the top three positions. Okay. This one, best nonprofit websites. Okay. I'm at six. Okay. I must've shrunk on that one because I was higher, but I may want to jump in today and go see if I can bump that up to number three. Um, so use this to improve whatever you know, low-hanging fruits you have to get up to those top three or four spots. Um, website auditor, this was a review I did. Um, this was a really big post for me for a while. I may want to jump in today and take a look at that and see if I could bump that one up. But now at least you have the ability to kind of see where you are, where you can use some improvement, the keywords, the difficulty. You've got all this data now. And again, it's free. Um, you can go in, you can add a couple of more. If you want to add a new project, you can add another one. Um, so guys, jump over there, um, click the link in my 
blog post or in the um, YouTube video and get started because there's, a, like I said, work on your website audits and then work on your low hanging fruits. Look for those referring backlinks that are broken. Those are my top three wins right off the bat for you guys. If you have any questions let me know and if you want me to do a more in-depth um, site audit tutorial let me know this was just an off-the-cup video and not too professional I know I'm kind of doing a lot of uh, us and things like that um, but I just was really excited about this and wanted to get it out there for you so go get something free there's your freebie for today and if you have any questions or want me to do a site audit review or overview tutorial let me know I'd be glad to do it and have a great day